In Germany, if you have to get a job in mechanical, you need very good German. But in IT, it's not that important. Yeah. How much are you spending to get this degree? The course is really good, but at the same time, I would ask them to have a little bit of experience from India or from wherever they're coming. Alright guys, so I'm at the moment here in uh, Bielefeld, here with a friend of mine, what's her name? I'm Alfred. Alfred is studying in which university? Uh, I'm studying in Fakultschule Südwestfalen. Yeah. Since how long are you here in, in Germany uh, now? I'm here last two and a half years. How has it been like so far? Uh, it's been uh, a good journey so far. I've almost completed my courses and I have my thesis remaining, which I'm currently doing it in a company. In what masters are you doing? A masters in Systems Engineering and Engineering Management. I'm specializing in machine learning. Machine okay, learning. so before I go into the video why don't you introduce yourself sure so uh, I'm Alfred I am from Kerala I have a background in uh, mechanical engineering yeah I'm doing a master's in systems engineering and engineering management and what was your grade point in bachelor's in bachelor's my average was 8.6 CGPA did you work as well uh, no, I have not worked before okay. joining the Masters. Cool, cool, cool. So, currently the course what you are studying, what kind of possible outcomes are you looking forward to have professionally? Um, professionally, I mean, this course is pretty, uh, it's vast area and people could go into any direction. There are mainly three categories, like we can go into the electronics field, mechatronics and mechanical. So I am in. I'm doing the mechatronics pathway, and in this pathway we could either go into, yeah, of course, obviously mechatronics, and also we have a possibility to go into machine learning because we have modules uh, that has core machine learning topics. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. There are other possibilities as uh, possibilities as well. Yeah, it depends on what uh, your interests are. This is a multidisciplinary course. Yes. Okay. So what kind of bachelors are accepted then? So we have they have accepted mechanical, uh, electronics, mechatronics, electrical. Are you happy overall? Yes, I could say, I mean, the course gives us a general overview of what we can do, but it depends on how we specialize in it. And, you know, you should find your own, uh, you know, for example, if you can gain experience in Germany in the specific field that you want to work in, then it's, then it's more helpful. Because otherwise, they do give us hands-on experience, but uh, you need to improve it yourself. It's, you have to learn by yourself at the end of the day. Your university is not in Bielefeld. No. What are you doing here? Oh, so I came for a party. <laughs> okay, but you stay in... Uh... I stay in Paderborn. Okay. So, uh, But I usually come here because it's like a really good city in uh, near, near to Paderborn because my, my I'm currently working in Paderborn and uh, yeah, so I live, I live in Paderborn. So I just want to go back to the course, right? So mm -hmm. you said there are different specializations. Which one are you interested in? Uh, so I'm pursuing my uh, pathway in mechatronics engineering because I, I had a mac background in mechanical engineering and it was pure mechanical. So I was sure that, uh, not sure, but I was, I believe that pure mechanical is not going to help me like get through there quicker. So if I have a touch of IT, a bit of programming, with the background of mechanical, it would help me much, much better. And because IT jobs are much easier to find, so I would, so that's why, because initially even I chose a mechanical pathway in the same university, but then I realized maybe I should change to mechatronics and get a touch of both. And that's why I changed to mechatronics. So if not mechatronics, what would it be? If not mechatronics, my initial choice was mechanical because my background was mechanical and I thought, yeah, yeah mechanical and is the right And if not mechanical, then what it would be? Electronics. It turned out to be good. I, I think I've made a good decision. Yeah. How much are you spending to get this degree? So we have, initially the contribution was below 300 euros. Now we have a little little over 300. Okay, so that's... that range. Uh, is it a three-semester program or a four-semester uh, program? It's a three-semester pr program in which we have two semesters with modules and one thesis semester. Okay. For all the future students who are watching, now mm -hmm. what do you want to tell them so I would tell them the course is really good but at the same time I would ask them to have a little bit experience from uh, from uh, India or from wherever they're coming and that would help them in a, a, a long way because the moment you come in to the place you could find a, fee, a job or student work at least in the uh, in your technical field otherwise you would have to work in Burger King or restaurants like that but if you have a field because this is my experience people they come in and they, they had experience in the past they directly go into the field and there is, I think, good options nearby at the university to find such jobs. And the university also promotes such kind of, you know, they support the students to do this. And they have, uh, they have uh, departments who would actually help you find the job. They have their own portal to find uh, find jobs. And and also there are many big companies, IT companies and mechanical companies just around the uh, university. Okay. So it's pretty okay if you have experience. Last question: With your background, 
Yeah. If I was to take you like two and a half years back when you were filing application, do you remember which all places did you file your application and what courses were there? Yes. So I was mostly focusing on mechanical courses in Germany and something related to that because I didn't I was I didn't realize at that point of time that IT was IT was the way to go. Because now if I go back again for yeah. four years back, I wouldn't choose mechanical. Okay. At this point, because in Germany, if you're having a, a job, if you have to get a job in mechanical, you need to very good German. But in IT, it's not it's not that important. It is important, of course, it's important if you have to, you know, talk to your colleagues, hang out with them. It's very important. But otherwise, do your job in the office and go back home. Then it's fine. You can find a, find an IT job. But with mechanical, it's not possible. As far as as far as my understanding, this is the case. Cool. So that was his story. If you've made it till here, make sure that you hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.